These are characters we can see ourselves in, at least a little. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most relatable Disney characters. For this list, we'll be looking at the most understandable and approachable characters from Disney's animated movies. Number 10. Edgar Balthazar, The Aristocats As far as Disney villains go, it's hard to find one with more relatable motivations than Edgar from The Aristocats. Despite being incredibly loyal to his ultra-rich mistress Madame Bonfamille, Edgar finds himself in a difficult predicament when her will reveals that he'll only receive an inheritance when her cats die. Cats inherit first, and I come after the cats. I, me, after no one. Which is not fair! Leaving her fortune to her cats doesn't really make any sense considering Edgar was going to care for them anyway, and it's not like they can spend the money themselves. We can't really blame Edgar for what he attempted to do, to be honest. You are going to Timbuktu if it's the last thing I do! Number 9. Andy Davis, Toy Story Franchise most of Disney's animated movies don't feature regular kids, so when Toy Story came along, we all found a character to identify with. You saved the day again, Woody. You're my favorite deputy. While Andy isn't the protagonist of this tale, and we see him pretty infrequently, we can definitely relate to the special relationship he has with his toys. Woody! Buzz! Oh, great, you found them. Where were they? Here in the car! See? Now what'd I tell you right where you left them? There's a reason why this franchise is capable of making grown adults weep. Everyone can remember the connection they felt with the toys that they held dear while growing up. Because the Toy Story films were released so many years apart, by the time Andy was all grown up, so were we. Now, you gotta promise to take good care of these guys. They mean a lot to me. Number 8. Merida, Brave it was clear that the tide had changed at Disney by 2012 when Brave was released. I can never get away with anything. I'm the princess. I'm the example. The company had become known over the decades for creating princesses who needed to be saved by true love's kiss. Along with Pixar, Disney gave us a heroine who certainly didn't need anyone to save her. Princess Merida bucked the expectations put on her by her family and society, opting to win her own hand in marriage rather than be married off to a man she would have no interest in. Might our young people decide for themselves who they will love? Little girls everywhere rejoiced at this new role model who reminded them a whole lot of themselves. Our fate lives within us. You only have to be brave enough to see it. Number 7. Judy Hopps, Zootopia Judy Hopps has a big dream that no one thinks she can achieve, being a bunny on the police force in Zootopia. Her perseverance is evident throughout the film, as she always tries to do the right thing, despite facing adversity on so many different levels. You probably forgot, but I was top of my class at the academy. Didn't forget. Just don't care. Uh, sir, I'm not just some token bunny. Well, then writing 100 tickets a day should be easy. We all know what it feels like to have people underestimate us, and Judy's story is an inspirational one that encourages viewers to go after their dreams no matter how bold they might seem. No one tells me what I can or can't be, especially not some jerk who never had the guts to try to be anything more than a popsicle hustler. She also admits when she's wrong and makes an effort to change her ways, which is something we can all use as an example. I wouldn't forgive me either. I was ignorant and irresponsible and small-minded. But predators shouldn't suffer because of my mistakes. I have to fix this. Number 6. Lilo Pelikai, Lilo and Stitch After their parents die suddenly, the 19-year-old Nani has to take care of her younger sister Lilo. I shouldn't have yelled at you. We're sisters. It's our job. Yeah, well, from now on... I like you better as a sister than a mom. As we've gotten older, we're able to relate to Nani more as she tries to wrangle the rebellious Lilo so that the social workers don't take her away. Lilo, on the other hand, is relatable in her own right, especially in the scene where her friends from Hula class turn on her. Are you gonna play dolls? You don't have a doll. This is Scrump. <gasps> I made her but her head is too big. If you've had a social experience like that in your youth, you don't soon forget it. 
It makes all the more sense that Lilo's willing to befriend an alien after that debacle. My friends! Ah! <laughs> what do you want? I'm sorry I bit you and pulled your hair and punched you in the face. Number five, Anna, Frozen franchise. Disney fans, and basically the rest of the world, have fallen hard for Frozen since it was released in 2013. And we can totally see why. Anna and Elsa are modern princesses with problems that viewers can relate to. While anyone who has suffered from mental illness may see themselves in Elsa, Anna is a fun-loving girl next door of a princess who seems like she was written just to be relatable. She doesn't always look perfect, and she definitely has flaws, especially when it comes to her taste in men. But she froze your heart. The only frozen heart around here is yours. <laughs> but Anna's also the type of person who has the courage to pick herself up and do the next right thing, and that's pretty extraordinary. Then I'll make the choice to hear that voice and do the next right thing. Number four, Megara, Hercules. Hades may be the villain in Hercules, but as far as bad guys go, he's probably the one we'd most want to hang out with. His sarcasm and sardonic humor make him seem like he can't be all that bad. You know, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Huh? But even more relatable, perhaps, is ancient Greece's resident damsel in distress, Megara. I'm a damsel. I'm in distress. I can handle this. Have a nice day. The thing that makes us love Meg so much is that she has a believable character arc. You wanted to be petty and dishonest? Everybody's not like that. Yes, they are. You're not like that. How do you know what I'm like? She starts off looking out for just herself after being hurt and not wanting to open herself up to let anyone in. But by the end, she's willing to make the ultimate sacrifice for the man she loves. Y you didn't have Ugh, to. People always do crazy things <laughs> when they're in love. Number three, Flynn Rider, AKA Eugene Fitzherbert, Tangled. While Rapunzel may be the true hero of Tangled, and she's definitely relatable in her own right, we had to talk about Flynn Rider on this list. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. A horse. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. But Flynn pretends to be someone he's not, and partway through the movie, we find out that he's actually Eugene Fitzherbert. His true story is a touching one, and we can all understand the desire to make up a fake story for ourselves when our real one isn't something we want to be associated with. And 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 for a kid with nothing, I don't know. I it just seemed like the better option. Not to mention that Flynn's dreams of his own private island sound pretty darn good to us. On an island that I own, and rested and alone. <laughs> Surrounded by enormous piles of money. Number two, Tiana, the princess and the frog. While Anna and Elsa are relatable to modern viewers, they're still pretty classic fairy tale princesses, then queens, who lived a charmed life. I'm gonna work a double shift to let hear your hotcakes, you know, so so, so I you can save for your restaurant. I know, I know. Girl, all you ever do is work. Order up. Maybe next time. Tiana, meanwhile, is a princess who we can all get behind because she's actually worked hard to get where she is in life. Women in the real world can see themselves in this hardworking heroine who goes through many struggles to live a pretty simple life. Tiana shows that women really can have it all by falling in love and being able to realize her dreams of having her own restaurant. Dreams do Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Scar, the Lion King. He's not the only one who's been jealous of his more successful sibling. Well, as far as brains go, I got the lion's share, but when it comes to brute strength, I'm afraid I'm at the shallow end of the gene pool. The Dormouse, Alice in Wonderland. 
We'd like to take a nap too. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. How I wonder what you're at. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky. Wally, Wally, we've all felt that level of loneliness. King Triton, the Little Mermaid. He's just being a reasonably protective parent. Do you think I want to see my youngest daughter snared by some fish eater's hook? I'm 16 years old. I'm not a child. Don't anymore. you take that tone of voice with me, young lady. Lewis Robinson, Meet the Robinsons. We've also gotten discouraged when our plans don't work out. You stole a time machine, came to the science fair, and ruined your project. My project didn't work because I'm no good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Belle, Beauty and the Beast Not all of the classic Disney princesses make choices that we identify with, but if there's one who rises to the top of the pack, it's undoubtedly Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Do you think I'm odd? My daughter? Odd? Uh, where would you get an idea like that? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I'm not sure I fit in here. There's no one I can really talk to. Her love of books is something that all budding bibliophiles took inspiration from. And ever since we saw her reaction to the Beast Library, we have been hoping to have a similar moment of pure awe in our lives. You, you like it. It's wonderful. Then it's yours. At the beginning of the movie, she dreams of a bigger life than the one she has. And if that's not relatable, we don't know what is. And for once it might be grand to have someone understand. I want so much more than they've got planned. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.